so the Paris Casino opened yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go inside and then head over to the link after, because I haven't been there um, since even before I closed. So let's go. So already I'm seeing um, hand sanitation stations around the Paris Casino floors. Yeah, everything is pretty much open again here at the Paris. So normally you can get to Bali's from the Paris walkway. Um, but I just tried to go through there and it was closed, so we're gonna go around and head up. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the shops are closing early over here. It's about 8 o'clock on a Friday night. So the Cromwell uh, is still closed. We're making our way to Flamingo and the lake tonight. I did notice, um, as of this week, they did change the Las Vegas Commission, Gaming Commission, um, is requiring face masks while you're playing games. And um, so that was interesting to see more mask wearing, um, because when I did stay at the Cosmo last weekend, it wasn't required yet. So it's took a little walk around the little garden. Shea's is great as well. There's the high roller. Definitely feels like a Friday night down here. So this place behind me, Laser, I definitely didn't remember it from last time I was here. And it doesn't look like it's open. They might have just closed early. Um, but that's definitely new. Over here. A new addition as well. I believe the American uh, beer and cocktails is closed still, but for the most part, most shops and restaurants at the Lake Promenade are open now. I actually just realized that that ice bar is where Sprinkles Cupcakes used to be. Um, so Sprinkles Cupcake is no longer. They used to have a really cool um, cupcake ATM here. Zip line action. Um, I believe it is up and running just like the high roller, but I haven't seen anyone fly above me yet. And then I love Sugar House. We're gonna go up to the martini bar and grab a drink. All the candy you can ever want. Martini bar. You can get massive 